Hi, my name is Bernard, and welcome to Making Things with Bernie. Arduino, microprocessor, hook it up to any computer by USB. Windows, Mac, Linux, it takes them all. Control any device by these connections. Collect data from these devices, report it back to your computer. Or have your computer, controlled through the internet, control anything hooked up to Arduino. So today, I'm going to show you how to make voice reactive lights using Arduino. Arduino Uno. Uno, not any other model. Genuine boards are hard to come by. Check the link in the description. You'll want this strand of LED lights. This is 25 lights strung together. You want this particular strand because we're going to load a program into Arduino specifically for this one. You want blue, green, and yellow jumper cables. This A to B USB connector. This is the type that connects directly into Arduino. The other end goes into your computer. You want this power supply, 5 volt, 2 amp, screw jack adapter so that you can connect the power supply to the LEDs, and you want some tape. There's two ends to the LED strand. You want the one with the female connectors. There's yellow, green, and blue cables connecting from those ones, and you want to get the colors to be right. So yellow goes to yellow, green goes to green, and finally, blue goes to blue. Now, on the Arduino board with the USB connector facing up, we have ground 13 and 11 on the right-hand side. And we're going to connect blue into ground, green into 13, and finally yellow into 11. Here on the opposite end, the male connectors, we're going to connect to power here. We have red and blue cables that have been stripped. The red is going to go to positive in the screw jack adapter. So put it right in there and then screw it on. And make sure you get it on pretty tight and you'll see that it is stuck in there. Do the same for the negative end, which is color blue. Put it right in there and then go ahead and screw it on tight. And now we have our power wiring. Now finally, don't forget to plug in your power supply, connect the USB cable into Arduino, and then of course into PC. Okay, and now we are ready to install the software. First stop is the Arduino website. We're going to download Arduino IDE and the software for it. This is specifically for Windows. Go with all the default options. It's gonna give you the USB driver, which is most important. You don't need the USB driver when you're on Mac or Linux. So it's gonna depend on your platform. And while we are here, as it's installing, we're gonna to go to the Ada Lite GitHub repository. If you're not familiar with Git, we can just download zip. If you are familiar with it, you can just Git clone it. That's no problem. Once we get the zip file for it, we're going to open the repository. We're gonna go into the Arduino folder, and that's going to have the program that we're gonna load specifically onto our board called LED Stream. So we load it into our Arduino IDE environment, and then we want to then upload it to device. You click this button, and you'll see this. Now the final part, you go to Processing's website and you get the IDE that is specific for your platform. Go to my GitHub repository, copy and paste the code straight into Processing. When you have it pasted into your IDE, one thing you want to do is you want to go to Sketch and then go to Import Library and then Add Library. And you want to search for something called Minim, M-I-N-I-M. Then find it from the list and then go ahead and install it. You need that library for this code to function. That's the audio processing library. And then finally, we are going to send this over to our Arduino by clicking the play button. Hi, we're down here underneath the table. <laughs>
So the video is a little dark here, but you can see in the background now it's reacting to my voice. You can see the lights up here. But what's really cool about this is that it reacts to the volume of my voice. So blue is not that loud. Green is about moderate volume. And then red, I'm really yelling. This would actually be a really good gaming setup, or you can put it with voice, or you can go and put it with music, or what's even cooler is that you can actually put it with both. With any project, we can always make things a little better. So take for example, this string of LEDs I believe is 24 pixels, and we can make it longer, we can make it 48, we can daisy chain two of them together, that would actually increase our power requirements, but uh, wouldn't uh, require any additional connections. It'd be able to cover the entire basis of my table here. So different things I'd like to do would be able to get both the audio from like a game and also when you're talking into a microphone, put those two together. We can also be a little smarter about the colors and have them change. If you're able to, you can go ahead and edit the gist that I put on there and I'll accept any changes. There's so many different things that we could do with the colors that could make it a lot better. And the way that I kind of envision this is uh, kind of a smaller part of a bigger program. You could do this with decorating your robots or your drones or different things like that, provided that you have the power for it. You can also line up the ceilings behind me with LED lights. I think that'd be really cool and it would be sound activated LEDs. Really, the, sky, the sky's the limit. The total cost for this entire setup is $75, $25 for the Arduino Uno, and then $50 for the Ada Light Pack. Links in the description below to all of those things. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, and leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope you did, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Subscribe if you'd like to see more Making Things with Bernie. I have a preview for our next episode, and it is this. This came in the mail yesterday. Now, if you're watching this afterwards, the link's gonna be in the description, but this is a 3D printer. The box is this gigantic thing. And I hope to have some videos out on that very soon, but thanks so much for hanging out with me today and making sound reactive lights with Arduino, and I will see you in the next one. Adios, amigos. <laughs>